This is my no, first time what? ever wow. editing, doing music, Woo! filming. Wow. The whole thing, yeah. Wow. And I did it all on a really crappy phone. I kept dying every On a minutes. phone? What, yeah. what was the phone? It was an iPhone, but it's a really old yeah, iPhone. Yeah, it's an old one, eh? Yeah. yeah. It, 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 it just goes to show with like editing and lighting you can and proper narrative, you could make something amazing from very little. You've written poetry before, like, uh, Yeah, this word. was this was an older poem I yeah. wrote, but, um, yeah, I've written a lot of poetry. Wow. Uh, dancing. You dance. I'm not, I love dancing. I wouldn't say I'm a dancer, but I dance alone in my room all the time, and I love it. <laughs> that was such an important element in the yeah. film. I mean, it, it was you. very emotive. It, it, it conveyed what words cannot sometimes. Yes, I agree. It yeah. was just beautiful. Mm -hmm. There was so much going on there. For life, at this moment, I just want to leave behind. I want to escape from this pain that emanates in my brain. Being so vulnerable with your voice near the end, almost like crying. I mean, and you put yourself out there for everyone. It was just silence. And I knew it's gonna be. It was gonna be this one today, right? And it was my. I, I can't take favorites. It's my favorite. So, um, it's, it's, I am very excited to see where you go from here and if you do more visual poetry and these, these beautiful, substantial themes. Yeah. What was the message? The message, it was really just, honestly, when I, when I write my poetry, when I act, when I create in any sort of form, mm. it's me just releasing everything I feel inside and getting it out there. I find that art is the most healing most powerful beautiful thing in this entire world and i i wouldn't be here without it so oh uh, yeah this, yeah this this is what it's about this is what filmmaking is about it connects it starts conversations it makes us feel it makes us feel less alone yeah. and it, it helps us discover things about ourselves yes i'm so scared if i fall and i'm terrified if i resist but the compulsions are on my mind like the scars are on my wrist. So how do I let go when it's written in my brain that until I let go, I will be in this pain? That's not an easy shot to get well when you want to shatter something like you. Like, did you get that in just the one chance? Yes, I had one play. I Because it was a whole yeah. trek to get to yeah. where I wanted to get. Mm, yeah. So I, with my tripod and the one <laughs> plate. And the, it, it felt yeah. like that, but it was so well done. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. Beautiful. Though it was a little dark, a lot of my poems are a lot darker, <laughs> a lot more personal. Um, I know I'm young, but I've been through quite a lot in my life. Mm. And um, yeah, this was one where I was like, I, I felt like I could start here instead of like, the more recent ones that have been a little yeah, bit more yeah. tough, and yeah. Did you did you feel like you were very self conscious when you were recording that emotional mo those emotional moments? Um, as I was recording. Yeah, them? were you able to like let go completely? Yeah, yeah. I honestly I didn't feel self conscious mm -hmm. whatsoever. I feel like in in my normal life I don't let myself feel a lot. Mm -hmm. Like it's just it's just a thing for me. But when I act, I'm able. It's it's a Freeing, it's a place where I can just release emotions that I don't release in real life. Wow, that's so fascinating because I feel the same way about dancing. I, can, I have a phobia of dancing. Oh, I cannot really? dance, but I can dance on camera because part of me oh, is wow. acting right. slash not acting. There's something there to explore on both sides. I yeah. Think. But if letting go means giving in, there's just no way that I can win. So the next time the clock chimes, I won't hear a thing. This is about you and what you have gone through in your own personal experience. Yeah. And you were in a very dark place at that time. Yes. Do you, are you feeling better now? And having shown this and, and created this film, has that helped you to feel better? Yes, th thanks for that question. Um, yes, I am doing so much better. Um, at the time I wrote this poem, I was, I was in recovery, but um, yeah, there were, there, I, I don't know how I'm here. Um, I was in a really bad place, and not just with the stuff I wrote for this poem, but um, sorry if I'm getting too vulnerable. I like being vulnerable. Um, yeah, and not just about this, but yeah. Can I hug you? Yeah, of course. Oh, oh, my, my, my lovely heart is just uh, your love and your meeting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful.
beautiful. Thank you. Well, thank you for sharing because we we, yeah. we have the conversation, we start the conversation, we disarm people. I think. Um, not to make it about me, but I we're along the same lines when we do films. I did a five minute film about how it feels like to drown. You know, so, and I got a lot of people in the community saying, reach out to me sometimes, say, are you okay? You need to talk. And I'm like, I am talking. Exactly. You know, yeah. that's yeah. what we do. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I get you. So it got some really good reactions. That's good. That's what I wanted to that's get what the, you wanted. the twists and... And it dealt with some uh, sensitive themes and subjects. Yeah. yeah. Kind of, yeah. But... It's good to have yeah. conversations about it. Yeah, it is. How did you do the scene where she or he is hanging from the tree? That's actually Tyler. Uh, that was Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. Um, I looked at a couple of videos on how to do the hanging. Uh, since we're in the <laughs> forest, <laughs> it was kind of hard. <laughs> Don't worry, it's safe. It's safe. We used a, so I got a, I got a harness. So Tyler was in the harness, and then we tied a rope behind, and then me and Deep pulled him from the tree so that he could. Oh. Be able to hang there, and then um, we tied that rope to a tree so that we could film. You look really convincing, cause yeah, your legs can't move, right? Yeah. So you have to like completely yeah. suspend it, but you can't move at all. It started off like a, a, like a serious drama. It had some themes where it was going somewhere where you thought it was going. Yeah, exactly. About the yeah, but it was misleading. It led somewhere else. Yeah. That was intentional. Yeah. So I wanted to make make something different, but also be able to tell beginning, middle, and end within seven minutes, be able to kind of tell the whole thing. Mm. So I think I achieved that. That's but really good, with yeah. a bit more time, I could obviously add more things. Yeah, you got a lot going on there. A lot of yeah. stories, little stories happening. Mm -hmm. More involvement. <laughs> your debut? Yeah, this is my first written director. Wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 Inspiring, incredibly, incredible debut. I want to know how you got that uh, shot. Uh, the the twisting one, eh? Yeah, the reveal shot there. Yeah, so that one, me and, me and John, my um, uh, DOP, we, so we were supposed to have where I would just, where someone would just walk by and they would just see me kind of there. Um, so then we were like, okay, that's too much work and we're running out of time, so let's, let's try and see if we can, you know, find something else. So I was hugging her and then John would go around my jacket and then she just ducked out no. and then he just continued. So it really was just one shot? Yeah, just one oh, shot. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. 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 Go back to bed, Marcus. <laughs> Suri, now. <laughs> How did you choose to film this? I'm assuming that the scene where she's crying is because she's abused. I wanted to leave that to the audience. Okay. Do whatever you want I with love that. the way that was filmed. Like, yeah. you could really feel something, but you still weren't certain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the audience take that as you will. I won't say something. You. That's that's for you. No, it's just it, I love the way that was chosen to go. Yeah, that's why I was a little confused. Uh, but I love it because there's a lot of different stories happening within the same story. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of I got a lot of ideas to explore in future films. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you excited to make more films? Oh yeah, I, like I said, I've been writing and my brain just I need to write. You're a career <laughs> storyteller, so I'm sure there's a lot of opportunity to do it. And now people know you and know what you're capable of. Everyone's gonna want to work with you. Yeah. So yeah, it's, you can never leave us now. Wow. <laughs> yes, Ben. All right, so Chris, you were also in this. Um, so my question is, um, how did you find it directing while you were in the frame? Um, it is, what was your experience with that? It's challenging, we'll say that. It was, uh, it's definitely challenging because you're like, okay, is it, is it good? Is it, no, okay, but, you know, so um, I think next time I'll have a director and I'll do the writing and the what, writing. There's three, right? Yeah, writing and acting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's just so many things that, yeah, it's just better to focus on the two and then, or just pick one. 
like this. I do have a question for the yes. audience. Um, yes. Did you find that you were able to like the character, but also hate him at the same time? Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Okay. That's, a, that's the first time someone asked a question to the audience. That's, it's Very amazing question. being here. Very good question. Uh, getting feedback. It, it feels good. And, and hope you get to network and talk to people and get to know. Sure. Yeah. Wow. What's, what's this that you brought? So I brought, uh, I brought some props because I really took a long time to figure out how to do this picture. Um, I thought, well, what, is, what does a scaffold even look like in, yeah. the, in the 16th century? So I did a bit of research and I thought, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna learn how to do Blender or Maya and create 3D animation. And then I thought, well, no. <laughs> so I didn't do that. So I, I built tried and true wow. miniature. Uh, this is one of three sections. And so I hand tied, as you can see, from I got this from Dollarama, this wow. little rope. And I think all the all the uh, the set cost me forty dollars, so it's like a miniature in the foreground, kind of like what they did a lot of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I did green screen it, and and this thing here, this is the uh, the platform that he stood on. Oh, wow. It's essentially so popsicle cool. sticks, oh, and and painted in acrylic, so and uh, some of it's missing. Obviously. So the question is, what popsicles were they? Were they like <laughs> the chocolate or the no? Orange you green? know what? These these were in a package. They oh. they they. The pre pops. They're like tongue depressors or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The beard, the beard that Lee Pierre wore was hand stitched in Turkey. That was no, yeah. Oh, it was in the credits, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is nothing new. You're not hearing anything new. There was one scene where, where the priest is walking. There's this sort of close up side angle of him walking. He's actually just walking on the spot, and I'm animating the background like the Flintstones. Oh. Because, oh, wow. I, so because I just didn't have enough green screen for him to walk the length of the. <laughs> Figure out the angles that I wanted, almost like storyboarding. Mm. Um, yeah. and, and then I put whatever background I had of the Sistine Chapel into Photoshop and lit it the way I want. So then when I, I knew the direction of the lighting, then when these fellows came in to do green screen, I knew exactly where to put the lights in relation to what I prepared for the background. Yes. Hand -made, hand -made so this, this is the brush that actually painted the uh, Sistine Chapel. That's right. <laughs> that was so a fortune. It's handmade with uh, <laughs> medical gauze. And what is that going on here? That's, uh, that's from um, a barbecue brush. That's a oh. barbecue brush. Oh. I bought digital equipment for the first time six years ago. So I, 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 I took a, like a 20 year, 30, 20 year sabbatical. Because <laughs> I used to shoot on film and, and Betacam SP, which was the broadcast standard back in the late 80s, early 90s. So you do a lot of films based on classic jokes. Where does that come from? <laughs> What's the, the like why, why, why classic jokes? I guess uh, I think they're all great. I think I think just the challenge of dramatizing. <clears throat> you know, um, I don't know how to answer that exactly. <laughs> I just I just want to make the audience laugh. You know, and there's a, there's a lot of drama leading up to these jokes. So yeah. Like well, I think genres. that I think that's a that's yeah. the answer right there. Yeah. Is is I, I I don't want you to know if it's a serious. You know, like like in the packages, it's almost look looks like they could murder each other mm -hmm. at any given moment. And then it just, as you said, is totally ridiculous yeah. at the end. It's like, how could I be sexy? Just do your sexy voice. <laughs> I'm like, but I can't. <laughs> you did. OK, so that's all I got. I got nothing. That's OK. <laughs> uh, I got a quick question for Natalie, who played the Russian spy. Uh, how hard was, how convincing was the accent? Tell me whether I want to know I won't kill you. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I have no idea. I don't do accents. Was it okay? This was her first time. First time. Seeing the movie. Yes. <laughs> wow. How does it feel? I'm sorry. You sh I'm, I'm part of the here. Than uh, <laughs> it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was really good. No, you did good. You rocked it. You rocked it. Because I, I remember the scene where you were like, hit me, hit me. And at one point, you're like, oh, come on, hit me for real. I know, she was <laughs> there. I'm like, Susie hit me, just go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Last Kino, Susie punched Stephanie in the face. <laughs> and they weren't even making a movie. <laughs> that was your son. 
real life Cooper playing Cooper yeah. saying, Mom, what's for dinner? Yeah. What's for awesome. dinner? That is like true. Every <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, what's for dinner? I know because I hang out with Stephanie sometimes and he calls in the middle of stuff. He's like, what, what, what's for dinner? <laughs> Are you coming home? Or what? I don't know how to make stuff. Uh, where is it? Uh. Mom, what's for dinner? Mom, what's for dinner? Ruined at the most important, like typical, right? We were about Just... to have S E X. Is that gonna be a sequel? Am I coming back? Do I need long hair? No. 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 I can take your part. No. <laughs> I'll just take your hair. Careful. What? Careful of what? Is that based on a, a real novel that you've actually read, or is that just completely made up? Oh, I read all the steamy yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hearing a yes or a no. <laughs> yes or no? A hard yes. No, okay. <laughs> no I haven't actually. I do read romance novels, but I haven't read one. Ah, uh, maybe there's some similarities, but I didn't take it off of another novel that I read, so it was just my own sort of. You're brilliant. You know, let go. Here we go. There are a lot of addictions out there. There's alcohol, uh, yeah. etc. But I find one of the addictions that I'm hearing more and more about is addiction to these romance novels. <laughs> yeah, like like kind of like Hallmark movies. Now it's like a comfort food for a lot of people. It's familiar. It's predictable. There's yes. comfort there. Why people watch reruns of things. So I totally get that. You're, you're not, you're, you can turn your brain off and just enjoy the moment itself. Yeah, you just lose yourself. Does it ever get really dirty in these books? Of course. Uh, I don't know. I, I have never... Does it? Really? Matter fact, Were you thinking about me that way? I'm, I'm, what? I'm writing a book and oh. I, I wrote my first steamy... That's Ooh. right. I wrote yeah. writing a book. Let me just say it. We're yeah. using words like man stick or something or <laughs> throbbing. <laughs> Yeah, no, because you can't be stick. blatantly obvious. You have to like love joystick or something. I don't know. How do these things work? Uh, well, you, you, yeah, you, you word around it. You word around it. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I'll definitely read your book twice. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when you're gonna get here. Know, maybe I'll be in the next one. Wait, I'm scared. Ben! <laughs> what is for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the hubby's cooking. <laughs> Meatballs. Uh, anyone else? <laughs> yes, Emmanuel. What is for dessert? <laughs> uh, you made a film about that. I was in your we bedroom, did. You and I was, I was oh, deep throating a banana. I'm really good at that. Oh, yeah. Deep throating your banana. Oh too. no! <laughs> See, it's great. That was good. I'm not a pervert. We actually make. Oh, no, that doesn't help. No. <laughs> so shut up on your head. Okay. okay. It was saucy. It was yeah. very saucy. We had chocolate sauce. It was so sweet. Oh, it was good. <laughs> oh. Should we leave? Should we leave? Yeah, my girlfriend's here tonight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> On that note, uh, any other questions? <laughs> You've done a lot of sex-based, sex-themed I, short well, films. Is there something you need to talk no, about? Well, it's, <laughs> it's not. I mean, there was there was Skin Deep and tri skin Triple deep. X. Triple X. X, X, X. Yeah. Yeah, some of them have some pretty raunchy names. Yeah. Have you met her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank You're the you. best. Thank, Thank you. you. A woman thinks she wakes up. Yeah and goes out and she feels this sense of something's off and something's stalking her and she's trying to get away from it. And it turns out she was just dying. Oh, wow. Oh, that's... That's... It's not really sad. It's like, it's the one thing that everybody shares. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, it wasn't meant to be miserable or anything. It's just the part of it is the unknown and everything else. Like, the fear of it all is much worse, I think, than the reality of it. Once you get past that panic stage and you breathe in, everything's just calm. So I take those kind of life experiences where there's the fear and the things that lead up to it that are horrifying. And then the reality, once you get past that part, is just calm. I'm doing everything on my phone, and my phone had 
something set on it so it wasn't focusing the way I wanted it to, but it gave it sort of a dreamlike quality. The hardest part, A, is getting um, a performance from Nanny because she's not an actress and she's very gung-ho, but she doesn't know how to do it. So you kind of have to tell her things that's not what you want her to do, but will get her to sort of look that way. Because the times where I'd say, okay, you're worried, it was really worried, like it was like, I'm gonna be worried, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, but I started with the final scene because I just wanted to do it because I couldn't see anything through the camera. I was just held it down close to her and hope for the best. And then I'm like doing this, trying to go, keep your hands still, keep your hands still, keep your hands, and then I'm up on my tiptoes. <laughs> I like the challenge of things. It has given me a lot of different things to practice. I had nice music with discordant music that went in and out and, and split at the same time. I was trying to layer sounds to create more of a discomfort. So I was trying a lot of things. All the little whispering voices, those were all mine that I had to layer. Those were yours? That's oh. mine. So it's my first time doing sort of like a ADR or whatever. Where do you think you're going? Are you finding that you could really retell a story in the editing? You could really be creative? Yes, because yeah. I've had to do that because a lot of times I don't have the footage that I want. And then you just have to go, well, what can I do with what yeah. I do have? Absolutely. Like, it's all kind of cool it's stuff. Like, it's liberating. It's empowering. It's going to come to a point where you're only limited by your creativity and imagination. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. you could do a lot in the editing. It's highly creative. Dennis, you are such a dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> you're like an entrepreneur. What do you do for a living? I am an entrepreneur. You know, I've got this great idea that your mom is going to invest in. How does it feel to play such a sleaze bag? That was a lot of fun. I found parts of my personality and just brought it out there. I didn't really practice, but I, I like trying acting. And then mostly in my own films, because if I fail, or if I don't do a good job, or if I chew up the furniture or whatever, then uh, or chew up the scenery, then it's not a big deal because it just impacts my own film. So I have confidence to act in my own films, whereas with other directors, I'm still a little bit nervous about it. Yeah. It's amazing. You're trying new things. Now, with three three kinos ago, you were singing with Natalie. Yeah, yeah. You're like a country singer, like really sad. Like, yeah. who sings in their film? Come on, bravo. Let's take chances and make ourselves look silly. Do you go to Broadway? Not London, England. London, Ontario. I've got a fishing shack. Yeah, it doesn't have running water, but your mom will love it anyway. It started off with comedy, pure farce, pure, and then it, it hit some themes that were really deep and serious. Were you intentionally playing with both genres like that? Yeah. Thank you for that question. Yeah, I wanted to do something both funny and serious and kind of see how well they melded together or not. You filmed this yourself? I did, yeah. So I've got a uh, pretty consumer camera and it's got a screen that I can flip so I can look at myself while I shoot. So that's so what I did. So most of it was on like a tripod when you were Yeah, almost all, yeah, all of it was on a tripod, yeah. yeah. What are some of the biggest challenges when you do that? Well, it's kind of like you look at yourself and then you're off a little bit, then you adjust, then you're off a little bit, then you adjust and you're off a little bit. So I just kind of spent a lot of time going back and forth. Well, I recently got a new camera and it allows me to look at my phone, the image on my phone. So that helps a lot. So I'm walking around going, oh my God, I can see. Who needs a monitor now? We have phones and apps and stuff like that. There are plenty of other fish in the sea. To you, maybe. But look at me. Look hard. You'll see a woman in her 50s who's got wrinkles, age spots, someone that men look through. I wanted to make a commentary on the other side about the whole issue of uh, how you see yourself as you get older, told from the point of view of, the, of, uh, the, of Sarah's character. And I was kind of looking to explore that more. And I thought my character was more just a cartoonish caricature, just to kind of, so someone she can play off and explore her own drama about getting older. He had no idea what I was talking about. I said, because men don't get it. You guys have buttons. Oh. We don't have buttons. That's, so we're in yeah. change rooms or where, and this happens. It's a, 
it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. And yes. We're right late, right? Yeah. yeah. See mm -hmm. all the ladies. <laughs> hey, anybody? Can anybody help me in here? So this is a, a little sweater, one-piece sweater dress I have with a turtleneck and sleeves that I bought because it was super cute, but I never wear it because I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get the image inside the sweater? What was that? So I cut some holes in a like box a and uh, stuck the camera in there oh, yeah. and stuck a really bright light it on the other like side and then, and then just kind of like uncovered it. And, it was uh, not very yeah. Nice. yeah, just that's, that's it. I'm going to die in here. So I, I almost see the sweater as a symbol oh, of oh my God. all the ways we feel trapped by today's society. That's great. I just, I <laughs> Thanks, I Dennis. We, Do you know what was going through my mind? Is the designers need to put pockets and buttons on our fucking yeah. clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so... You don't, right? You got all this dapper shit, but you can get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you did buy it. I because it has zippers down here, but I was a little tiny, and it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I recognize the reference. I'm um, coming to get you, Barbara. Yes. Oh, that's from anyone know that? Yeah. That's yes. from uh, Night, Night of the Living Dead. I'm coming to get you, Barbara. Wait, wait. Why zombies? Why zombies? Um. Well. Um. I wanted to sort of tell a story that, you know, sort of poke fun at this whole thing of like, you know, in every iteration of zombies, most iteration of zombies, you know, they're slow, they're lumbering. They're, well, know, they were really slow. easy to kill. Like, if, you, if you get caught so, by one of those, you deserve to die. Yeah. 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 So, so, I mean, yeah. yeah, so in most situations, would, we, would there really be an apocalypse? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We just when they take start, care of it in an afternoon. When they started doing the sprinting zombies, that was terrifying, am I right? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Now that, like, that I could see right. the end of an That's apocalypse. like a whole different style of filmmaking. Yeah. Are those real zombies? That's awesome. Aren't you scared? Come on, seriously? How dangerous could they be? My nine-year-old grandma moves faster than those things. You're coming back to the community. You were like taking a break for a while. Were you like incarcerated yes. or something? What happened? <laughs> Did they catch you? I actually, they spit. You killed people. Did you? <laughs> you thought there were zombies. We'll see. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, no, actually, I, yeah, I've uh, recently changed careers. I'm, I'm full throttle in filmmaking now. I spent the last 25 years in IT um, and one way off too many and I was like, you know what? I gotta do what I love. I yeah. gotta do what I'm passionate about. Yeah. And now that's all I'm doing. I'm wow. full, full oh. four and... Let's go yeah. full RT4. That's it. Say, oh, that's it's a wonderful it. community. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that's that's exactly what I was going for. Um, you know, like like I was saying, you know, if if they're slow, they're lumbering, they're easy to take out. You know, I really don't. You know, you see Walking Dead, you see yeah. all these like yeah. Yeah. zombies yeah. where it's like, okay, well, they they just took over, and it's like, would they really? You know, if they're just <laughs> yeah, would they? doing this, yeah. you know, like. Yeah. But I mean, like in the instance of like the actual threatening zombies are moving fast, that I could see maybe we're in trouble, but. You know, as a society, but uh, yeah, I was just kind of you know, I was poking fun on at uh, the whole zombie genre. Basically, oh, you know? those are good questions because I rely on you, the audience, to have witty questions because I'm just yeah. here for eye candy. Yes, Beth. <laughs> That's five minutes for high sticking. <laughs> the zombies were not really that threatening. There was one person who was threatened that it was going to change their way of life. Yeah. There was mentioning of a building of a wall. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was some, yeah. At the time it was done, there was, yeah. What is this? A little uh, social was commentary there. What's that? 2018? When did I do that? Uh, uh, yeah, I finished it up in 2018. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I picked up a bit of a commentary on illegal immigrants somewhat, a little bit. <laughs> well, you know, it, it was the, you know, there was like the, the, the humble, the, most of the cast were the, the humble, peace-loving Canadians, and then, you know, here comes Harry, you know. Harry from America! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, I know you hoser tops don't like to stick up for yourselves much, but I've come to save the day.
So now that you're back, what's next? What's new? What's, what's coming up? next? Yeah. Oh man, oh, God. I have so many. Because you're only as good as your it. most recent film. Because that's all people are going to talk about. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm at like 620, and people <laughs> don't remember what I did last week. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's next? Um, I got you know I got so many ideas. Um, I've got one um, called Judgment Day that's like about people disappearing around the world. Ooh, I love and, that. Well, yeah. make something and then, then we're gonna show it at the keynote because yeah. next month's theme is. No, you're just gonna have to wait. Oh. You're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> it's actually really good. We had a fun time. Leave them waiting. Leave them. Leave them in the next month's theme is you. <laughs> Your film must incorporate that. I'm sorry. It's gonna be time consuming. I don't, don't want to be a center of <laughs> Yeah. I had a love curse what? on me. <laughs> yeah. And I was supposed to remove this love curse, but in doing so, it gave birth to the upside down man. There's a lot of weird stuff on there. It doesn't matter. Anyways, the next thing. <laughs> I've made some films where it's supposed to be like emo and people are laughing. Um, <laughs> it's not a failure. It's fine. No, the cat. I have no idea what the. Um, I'll have I'll have more ideas what it is when I write the words and I put it on it. So, uh, <laughs> what I do sometimes is I have a, a concept, a feeling, a mood, a tone, and I write. I, I shoot visuals, and I trust that it's going to come together in the editing and it's going to tell a story when I'm in the editing. I just trust the process. And there's no wrong way to, to interpret it. I mean, whatever it means, I like that it has no voice, because whatever it means to you, you're right. Because don't ask me, I have no idea. But there is an emotional truth in there somewhere. Yeah. Hmm. And everyone's opinion of the film, they're all correct. They're all parts of me. Yeah, it's wonderful. Well, thank you. My films, it's really simple. It's the art of looking down emo. Are you ready for this? It's slow motion. <laughs> Let's be honest, that's all it is. I own it. That's been really good. It's very good. A yeah. lot going on there, with very little. Right? Yeah, for sure. Do you speed up the the film when you do your theme reveals? Because it almost looks like when Dennis and no, Charlie. No, they're not at all. They're not at all. So comedies yeah. are regular speed and emo is slow mo. Uh, well, because I like emo. I mean, I like slow mo. It's just, it's just, it's all. The reason this one looked like it was sped up somewhat is because I was outside. It was very sunny, and I increased yeah. the shutter speed. Mm. So it was photographing faster mm. per second. So yeah. it had like a choppy look to it. That's the only reason. Well, then, and, and the oh, way yeah. you move too. And the way I move. It looks a little more choppy. And <laughs>